images of skits and Kefli, which is a malformation of cortical development. I've already shown other cortical malformations and mentioned the classification in problems with proliferation, migration of the neurons and organization of the cortex. And this classification has been extensively described in a very nice article from Brain 2012 by James Barkovich, which is a very good article, but difficult to read for me as a radiologist because there isn't a single image in it. And in this article, schizencephaly is classified as a post-migrational problem. And that makes some sense because it is often associated with polymicrogyria. But it's also striking because when I think of the pathogenesis, the problem happens earlier. In schizencephaly, there's cleft in the brain that extends from the ventricle all the way to the cortex. And this cleft is lined by gray matter. And this gray matter is often abnormal and has, for example, a polymicrogyria pattern. And schizencephaly occurs when there is a problem in the germinal matrix. And this is an MRI of a 19-week-old human embryo, where you can see the germinal matrix lining the ventricles, the cortical plates already in its place, and then the green zone with high signal on the T2-weighted image where the neurons are migrating. And what happens in schizencephaly is that there is a vascular insult in the germinal matrix causing these neuronal stem cells to die, and then you get a cleft, and because it happens so early, the cleft is lined by gray matter. And if the cleft is white, as in this case, it's called an open lip, schizencephaly. And if it's smaller, it's called a closed lip, schizencephaly. And it's also associated with septo-optic dysplasia, as you can see on this uh, child. It happens more often in patients with collagen mutations, called for a and cytomegalovirus uh, intrauterine infections. The differential diagnosis is porencephaly that also occurs in patients with a call for a mutation because they have a problem with their basal membrane of their um, blood vessels, so they're more prone to vascular insults. And if the damage happens later, there's loss of brain tissue, but then the cleft is lined by uh, gliotic white matter. So in schizencephaly, the problem occurs early and the cleft is lined by dysplastic gray matter, whereas in porencephaly, there is gliotic white matter because the insult has happened later. Thanks for watching. And until next time, when I will show another epileptogenic abnormality with a vascular origin, namely Bulajaria.